Okay, so Kitty has has the collar on um, because we've been treating for Demodex mites, which started on his back, around his ears, even in here, and it was eating very close to his eye, under his neck, and of course the forelegs right here. So, come on, baby. He's very good. You're a good boy. Wait, let's show your paws. Oh. There we go. Look at that. These are starting to heal now, but can you imagine how that must have been? So I've been treating, doing instead of lime sulfur dips, which is what veterinarians recommend, the only home remedy I had was apple cider vinegar, diluted, kind of mm, two-thirds to one-third between a half and a half with cotton balls and just wiped down. Of course, I said, don't lick, and I had to put a collar on him. I would let that sort of partially dry, and then I would apply 100% uh, aloe vera gel, which you can buy at Walmart. Uh, there's one called Fruit of the Earth. Uh, it does have some preservatives in it, but again, we don't want him licking it. Um, if, when these were very red and almost infected uh, from, you know, him biting or licking them, before we figured out what to do, uh, we... Uh, I applied um, the 0.5% um, hydrocortisone cream, and uh, that took the itching away, of course. It's meant for eczema, and it's a very low concentration. It's an over-the-counter product. Um, also, taromipracin, which is a topical antibiotic, uh, if it looked very red or infected, and that seemed to help. And then I would just let them dry like this. So it was um, a combination approach. Uh, but I think the apple cider vinegar actually helped um, destroy the Demodex population. Um, and the life cycle is 14 days for them. So he's been on this for about 14 days now. And as you can see, there aren't it too many more, well, there aren't any red spots. There's just the healing scabs that are ha happening now. So this has really worked well. It's just unfortunate he had to have the collar on. The revolution... Um, took care of the ear mites, but it didn't seem to really touch these unless it's kind of an after effect. Uh, Revolution, I think, works for sarcoptic mange, but this particular Demodex uh, mite mange, uh, I don't know if it touches it or not. His ears cleared up with the most recent application of Revolution, but not the rest of it. Okay. There we go. I'll tie this up so you can wander. He's a very good boy. Very, very good boy. So now here's another view. Right, baby? Oh, yeah. Even under his chin here, I made sure the apple cider vinegar got in underneath here. We just rubbed that in because he started showing little black dots in this area. So, very good boy. Very, very good boy. And then there was a underneath this area here Come on. and that's starting to heal as well and this was brought about by the Royal Canin hair and skin formulation because it has such a high well, I don't know if it was omega-6 but it does have a high oil content and so while it was improving the quality of his fur it was also feeding the Demodex mites such that that was when they started to become a problem. As you can see here, this is where it started. It was all red, and um, there was hair loss here. And so um, we switched them off of that, discontinued the, the high oil dose. And um, uh, that's when I started treating with the apple cider vinegar and uh, changing the food. Unfortunately, with the Royal Canin food, there's not enough fiber content either, I believe. And so his bowel movements have never actually improved since he had his dental surgery. The antibiotics pretty much wiped out his gut microflora. And he's never managed to really fully regain it back. And the Royal Canin diet took care of the rest and then created all these other issues. Um, I don't hold, hold the product in high regard. I know vets schlock it at their clinics. Um... And maybe it does help some kitty cats, but it didn't really help his condition. He actually knows what a camera is. See, he's looking right into it.
Who's that? Is that you? Is that you on the camera? Can you see that? Yeah, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. So we wiped him down here and then uh, just put the stuff on his uh, legs. The um, After the apple cider vinegar, the aloe vera gel, the 0.5% uh, where it was needed, hydrocortisone cream so it wouldn't be itchy for him. And uh, there he is. He's doing so much better, but it has taken time. And I have caught him licking, so that's been a bit of a setback. See if there's a little bit of redness here. What I do is that's where I would apply the, after this is dried, I would apply the 0.5% uh, very thin layer of the uh, hydrocortisone cream, the over-the-counter one. Uh, Equate brand is what I used from Walmart, and uh, hopefully that helps someone else.